what's going on boys welcome back to the channel and for today i wanted to share some more luna snow gameplay with you guys for this one i wanted to take her into world boss ultimate and i want to show you guys how she performs against several different world boss ultimate stages so in case you guys missed the last video i've been putting a lot of my resources into luna snow and she's actually looking pretty damn good and since the last video i made on her i've actually upgraded a few things and her ranking has actually gone up just a little bit she's jumped about 300 spots as you guys can see right here she's ranked 657 as opposed to before she was in the 800s so that is actually really good and there's still a lot more that i can do for the character and depending on how good the next update is she might just be getting pushed all the way into the top 100s because i have a lot of resources as you guys can see i have a lot of gold and i have a whole lot of isos just sitting around so in case you guys missed the last video i run through the build details really quickly and then we'll jump into some world boss ultimate gameplay as you guys can see right here i have 127 percent for attack speed 61 percent for critical rate 177 for critical damage 45% for ignore defense, 69% for cold damage, and 50% for reduced cooldown duration. And as for the gears, guys, this is what they all currently look like. As you can see, obviously, everything is at 20 because she's at tier 2. And I have 2 energy attack, 2 critical damage, and 1 critical rate Ooh, on every single slot. The fourth gear slot is roll for skill cooldown to make sure that I get that capped off at the very least. Everything else, I'll be working slowly towards the cap over time. As for the skills, as you can see, everything is at at six and the rotation i'm going to use with her is going to be something like five into two into three into one into four then back into five as for the iso set guys i'm running power frank with hulk and since the last time you guys saw this set i've upgraded pretty much every single one of these isos at least once however i'm going to leave it like this for now until we see just how many new characters we get from the update and depending on how many good ones we get how many i like i may actually just come back to luna snow and completely awaken this thing because i want to see what the upper limits of her potential look like as for the obelisk i have a cold damage obelisk with a 160 prop and web immunity with that said guys let's go ahead and jump into world boss ultimate and i'll put her up against i'll put her up against black dwarf then i'll put her up against corvus with some strikers and then maybe ebony and thanos at the end to show you guys how she performs against the different world bosses let's actually grab misty knight here and we'll do this one without any strikers Put the hurt on this guy. This guy guard broke me, but it's fine. It's whatever. Hmm. <laughs> Get enticed, bro. Are you enticed? Do you want some of that Luna Snow action, bro? not the only one that can spin in circles bro let's dance <laughs> what if i can entice him? oh you can you can entice him even when he has his little shield up oh that's funny that's actually funny okay so 40 seconds but i feel like i could have done this in like 25 if i was actually like on the ball so scrub gameplay but it is what it is oh we got a five star iso okay that's cool so let's actually jump out here and i'll show you guys Orvis. and all right so let's go ahead and grab us some ignore dodge strikers we'll grab i don't think we need more than maybe three so we'll do that for now Alright, Corvus. Let's do this. Yeah, it took twenty seconds, even with the ignore dodge strikers so yeah i feel like she definitely needs them 
because the entice will miss and the entice is a good way to chain back into the uh, ivory. Oh, you don't have to worry so much about the parts where she just like is slightly outside of those iframes. You can take damage. Mm. I knew he was gonna jump there, but for some reason I still just used the skill. Melt this guy, come on. Come on, you got this Luna. Let's go. I feel like we could definitely do this in a minute, but maybe not without the, <laughs> the ignore dodge strikers. Let's actually go test her out against Ebony. And for Ebony, we'll keep the same team, but for Ebony, we don't need the strikers since he doesn't have that much dodge. So we'll do it without him. All right, so we're gonna put the pressure on Ebony here because he's the worst type of guy. He's the kind of guy that will hide in iframe for weeks and make this fight take literally two weeks. Like seriously, I'm gonna put the pressure on this guy and see how fast we can get this thing done. See if we can get him. Yep, we got him. It's so weird seeing Ebony of all people running towards me because this guy is the kind of character that will literally go from barely walking because he's an old, <laughs> like, <laughs> decrepit old geezer to, like, immediately making a mad dash to the center of the freaking... Okay, get out of here. Like, the center of, center of the arena because he wants to go in his cutscene to power up. Like, you'll see what I mean in a second, guys. I thought I got everybody, but I didn't. So sad, okay. He's over here not being enticed, you geezer. Come on, get him with the entice. Let's see if we can... Oh, he went into the shadows. And only his little clones or minions or summons. Okay, listen, you old geezer. I'm surprised he didn't make a mad dash for it yet. I'm surprised, wow. Okay, he literally, like, he was nowhere near the center of the, the freaking map. But he still powered up. Weird. Like he literally went straight into the cutscene, which I was trying to avoid, but it doesn't really matter. We're still gonna get a good clear time against him. It's a good clear time for Ebony of all people because this old geezer, man, this old geezer. Oh damn, <laughs> I was not expecting the three skill to come up and kill him there. I sometimes forget that the three skill has a slight delay where it sends out those ice spikes out of the ground. That's actually pretty cool. I forgot about that. I was trying to hit the five there to finish him off. Not the best clear time, but for Ebony, it's a respectable time in my opinion. Let's actually go out here and go up against the big man himself, guys. Thanos. We're going to keep the exact same team here. And let's do it. Let's see how we deal with the guard breaks in this because he's going to guard break the five pretty often I'm gonna beat up on Thanos as much as I can before <laughs> he gets real buff with the new uniform that he about to get from Infinity Wars let's chill bro hold this in ties for me a taste of Luna damn he's actually like melting wow He can literally one-shot her because as a speed character, obviously, she doesn't have that high of a defense. But, like, my goodness, he's actually, like, doing a good amount of DPS against him. I was not expecting the DPS to look like this. He walked out of the freaking three, so that's kind of sad. He powered up anyways, but it is what it is. We're going to cancel him. Okay. Wow. Wow. I keep saying wow because I'm actually, I was not expecting the DPS to be this good against Thanos because Thanos has all that defense, the most amount. I kind of want to see how she, pro wow, freaking Proxima from the side actually 
Proxima, you're the worst. You know what? Just for that, just for that, Proxima, we're not done, guys. Let's actually go pay Proxima a visit. And we're going to beat up on her a little bit. Proxima is pretty annoying because of all the dodge and the energy defense. So I'm going to throw in some dodge ignore strikers just for her. And let's pay her a visit, boys. I was going to end it with Thanos, but she came in from the side and sniped me. So... I gotta get a little bit of payback to make myself feel good. And also, I wanna see how she performs here. Luna did this, because you're not supposed to use energy-based characters against Proxima because of all the energy defense that she has here natively. Like, ooh, she got me there. And she's gonna jump around pretty often and <laughs> get out of my skills, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, look at that. The, the damage I'm doing here compared to what I was doing against Thanos. Like you'll see that the clear time is going to be significantly slower or lower or whatever. And that's just because of the mass amount of uh, dodge and all that jazz that she has. If you don't chill girl, I gotta heal though. She heals for about 3,000 every time you let the, uh, well, I let the <laughs> fire skill play out to completion. It's nice having the ignore dodge strikers in here because otherwise she will dodge the entice pretty often and I kind of, I kind of sort of need that. If I want to get some kind of revenge. I love Proxima as a character. Not too fond of the new spear that they're giving her for Infinity War. So, yeah, it looks not how I would want it to look. But we'll see how it performs and then go from there. Oh, these things are going to try and guard break me into oblivion. Like her little electric things. So, I'm going to try and see. Oh, she dodged that entice. She's like, not today, baby girl, not today. Let's see if we can get her again. You guys can see why you shouldn't use energy-based characters against someone like Proxima. You should stick to your Wolverine, your Agent Venom, your Anti-Venom, your Vultures, like those top-end characters, your Miguel O'Hara, your Quicksilver, because yeah, Proxima, energy-based characters like Luna, as good as they are, Although they can do it, the times will be very, very low. Or, you know what I mean. Like, it'll take a very long time. You could have done this with Wolverine like two or three times already. My Wolverine clear time is probably like 30 seconds. But, yeah. I don't want to keep you guys any longer, man. Thanks for watching if you made it this far, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.